Yeah, I think that's enough uh, dilly-dallying now. Why don't we uh, go ahead and get into the game, man? We're going to try out some attack and the Guardians of Gross. It is, I believe, the 63rd game that I'm playing as part of this PS2 gauntlet. So, uh, you know, that's going along pretty well. I'm having fun with it, at least. I hope you all are as well. Noodle, Rue, anybody else who's uh, here chilling? Um, and I'm also hoping that, yeah, 63rd from my count. I might have miscounted. That's a possibility, but I'm pretty sure 63rd. Um, I'm kind of hoping this one ends up being a little bit better than the last tat game that we played. The last one was okay, don't get me wrong, but it definitely could have been better, you know what I mean? Like, it was just a little bit glitchy. <laughs> I'm assuming it was just kind of rushed out a little bit, but like I was having fun with it, Rue, but yeah, it wasn't it wasn't amazing though. Challenge mode. What is So we know what mini games are. That was in the last one. What's the challenge mode? Spoiled Shrine, Stinky Escape, Swollen River Ruins, Trash Thulu, Slaviathan, Slaviathan, <laughs> Orgonzilla, Chugamug. I like the bad puns. I do appreciate the terrible puns there, but now we're gonna we're gonna play the story, of course. New game. Let's go. Stinky Escape. Of course you would like the Stinky Escape. <laughs> well, I can't actually play those. Those are we're all locked. I didn't have a choice of playing them, or I would have tried it out for you. Ah, look at the little the little dude. Jabulba's making me clean up this stupid spoiled shrine. Hey, Tack, wait up! I just appreciate the fact that they actually have some subtitles really now. Like that's awesome. Secret mission? Yeah, that's right. Did they change? I feel like they completely changed the voice actors. That's weird, man. The one that got squished, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Tic-tac-toe, a little unresponsive. Look, it's a chat game. What do you want? <laughs> I think what happened was you did your vote while it was, like, loading. Because, like, it, it does 15 seconds, and then it loads and then does the yeah, ai's yeah, turn whatever. and then goes back to Remember, the 15 second voting period so i'm guessing your your vote came in like in the middle of it or something but i'm not positive but i think that's maybe what happened you okay you sure you don't want to ride in the i used to know like a good strategy to yes, win tic-tac-toe uh most of the time but i don't remember what the hell go. it is at this point i remember like it was Basically, you want to trap them so that you can win by putting a, a piece down in two different positions. I just forget exactly how to get them trapped. And uh, I don't know if the AI would be programmed to work against that sort of thing. Like, uh, they may be smart enough to deal with that at this point. Yeah, so like, right now you can trap him by putting one in seven. Right? Because if you... Or no, but if you... Ah, oh, shit. But yeah, you see, the problem is if you don't put one in three, then he wins. So, yeah, like... But... <laughs> There's some way to get the trap set up to, to make it so you pretty much, like, are guaranteed win. I just don't remember what the hell it is at this point. You hate computers? <laughs> okay, so this is a little bit different. It's a little more, uh... A little more open than it was before. Also, what is this new weapon that we got? It's very flashy. Do we have... We don't have control of the camera. At least not right now. It also feels like it controls a little bit different. Run up to a wall and press R1 to scramble to the top. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing with Tic-Tac-Toe. I feel like uh, you get a lot of ties in Tic-Tac-Toe. Right? Like, because it's such a simple game. Again, there's some way to, like, trap it, but the AI may be programmed to know the difference. Like, to know that's going to happen and then stop it, though. I don't know. Has been telling me a very silly prophecy. Four, Four giant, giant monsters, monsters will one day stalk the jungle, jungle causing, causing great damage. What a load, what a load of, of silliness. <laughs> I don't know, man. Just wait. It'll happen. I mean, the world's got to end someday, right? <laughs> Same with Connect 4, yeah. Well, I mean, with Connect 4, though, you have 
what is it? Is it six spaces across? Eight spaces across? Something like that, right? Like it's it's there. I feel like there's a little bit more strategy at, le at least with Connect Four, but similar uh similar sort of experience. Uh, Hangman would be fun, especially if uh ah uh, see I don't know how chat could uh select like play against each other though it'd be fun if chat could play against each other some way but whatever uh the only way you'd be able to tell the bot what uh word you wanted to use would be by typing it into chat and obviously that would cause everybody to know what word <laughs> but it would still be fun though like you guys versus the computer So, it's a little weird not having control of the camera. But, like, so far it's actually kind of working, though, so I'm not mad about it. The game just looks and feels very different than the other tech games so far. Which is odd, but I guess maybe after the performance of the second one. <laughs> I don't know how well the second one sold, to be fair. It could have sold very well, and I just don't know. But, like, the second one was definitely worse than the first. No, I haven't hidden your nose cleaner, shaman, bro. Attack the boom switch. Uh, does that mean it's gonna go boom? Is that what happens when you attack a boom switch? No, we just get some some glowy orbs that appear okay fair enough i like glowy orbs i don't actually know why we're collecting them but like <laughs> help prompts options resume game so we don't have any like missions or anything noodle what are you doing love oh i don't know if the game was skipping or if like that was just the music for the game <laughs> was skipping like that that was weird man what are we doing time to pop a pot okay time to pop a pot. press x on the air to perform a double jump okay i mean right now we're just in tutorial land so you know i'll give it the benefit of the doubt so far um i say as we fall directly into the fucking water like gg hi mr sheep yeah that's 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 a sheep, all right. You know what game is jank as hell, but really fun? Pac-Man World 2. <laughs> I don't know why I like that game so much. It is jank. Like, it's not actually that great of a game. But for some reason, I have a lot of fun with it, man. I'm excited for uh, whenever we get around to playing the third one. Like, what? What'd I do? <laughs> I just see OMFG stream. I don't know what I did. This new new piece looks like it's part of a bigger picture. Okay, so we got to make like a uh, collect them all sort of deal to get something. Yeah, you've said that twice. Pac-Man, obviously. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I mean, Pac-Man, are you talking about like Pac-Man World, the one that I played? Or are you talking about, like, a Pac-Man chat game somehow? And that'd be a fun one, but I don't know how it would work in, like, real time. Although, I mean, with that said, people played all kinds of games. You know, Pokemon being the famous one, but there's a bunch of other games that people have played in chat, so... <laughs> and that'd be hectic as hell, though, man. Trying to run away from the ghosts and shit while, uh... While dealing with all the, the Twitch chat lag. You end up watching the stream and that game was jank. No, I mean, okay, it was jank. It was jank as hell. It is, but it's a lot of fun, man. It's a lot of fun. I really like the Pac-Man World game. At least the second one. I, I've never actually played the third one. I own it now, though, so I will be playing it at some point. But I really like it, man. It's just, it's so much fun. I don't know, I don't know if it's the, like, all the pretty colors or what. But, like, it's fun. It's just a fun time. And at the end of the day, that's all you need for a good game, man. It can be jank as hell. As long as you have fun with it, who cares? <laughs> I mean, Mountain Bike Adrenaline was jank as hell. And for some reason, I couldn't tell you why, but for some reason, I actually had some fun with it. Like, there's another one. 
jank is jank as fuck, but fun time nonetheless, man. That game sucked too. I will say, like, Pac-Man World, I think, is a decent game, just jank as hell. Um, Mountain Bike, Bike Adre Adrenaline was a little... Not only was it a little jank, but it did suck a little bit. But I was having fun with it, though, so, like, I ain't mad. If I had more time, I would totally play it. And, like, if I was a kid, and, uh... Ah, uh, I thought maybe you had the win. But, like, if I was a kid and that's the only game I had to play or whatever, like, I wouldn't be mad about it, right? And that's kind of how I, I judge whether a game is bad or not, you know? Just thinking back to when I was 12 years old and had a very limited selection of games, would I be mad if this was the, the limited selection I had? Or if this is the game that, uh... Is, if this was the game that I had rented for this week, right? Because I rented a lot of games growing up. So if this was the game that I rented for the week, or the weekend, whatever you want to call it, would I be mad that, that this is what I had to play? And at least with that game, no, nah, I wouldn't have been mad. Like, So, it's fine then, you know? Ah, Blockbuster memories, yeah. We, uh, we had a Blockbuster in the area, but I almost never went to Blockbuster because we had a, uh, a local game rental place that when I was little, little, was literally next door. From me right like i could walk out of my apartment and uh cross one alleyway and then i was at the rental store like <laughs> so yeah um but like we almost never went to the to the blockbuster or, or whatever we mostly rented movies not games yeah i mean we did a little bit of both i thought that was a uh i thought that was a platform down there honestly pancakes i mean i kind of want pancakes love but uh, I ate a double chocolate chip muffin today, so I think I've had more than enough sugar. <laughs> so, but thank you though, because uh, if it weren't for that, I probably would want some pancakes. Like, if I go fast you'll enough, take them. <laughs> you gotta make roux some, and then ship them all the way off across the U.S. <laughs> Where's your muffin? It was a work muffin. One of the people from work always leave food. I got a free burrito too. That's why I wasn't starving to death today. The people at work feed me. It's amazing. Okay, that didn't work so well. They'll still be fresh, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, man. By the time they get all the way out there, mm, super fresh. You're always taking food from random women? Hey, I would take food from random men, too. Look, I just, I like food. I was taught growing up, we don't say no to food, okay? Like, <laughs> a stranger offers you candy, you take that candy. That's what you do, like. <laughs> I'll take food from anyone, exactly. And you gotta learn how to drive, though. But yeah, I uh, I really didn't want to either, to be honest with you, Rue. But uh, now that I have, it's not all that bad. I'm uh, iffy about doing, like, cross-country trips or anything like that. And there's a couple areas around where I live that I just refuse to drive. But uh but it's not it's not like terrible though. So, you know, it could definitely be worse. Repeatedly press X to get to the top of the walls. Got it. Press X while in the air to perform a double jump. Why are you giving us the same tutorial like three now that times is now? A tree. Is it a tree though? I thought it was a mountain. I don't know. I grew up poor. Take all the free shit you can get, especially food. Exactly, man. Exactly. <laughs> Thinking about my food so I won't just take take just anything. Promise, because people here are crazy when driving, so that's your biggest apprehension. Yeah, I mean, and that's why, like, one of the areas around here that I just refuse to drive is because the roads there fucking suck, like, the layout of the roads. And then to make it matters worse, people drive like fucking crazy there too. Um, yeah. So like, as long as it's not super busy though, I just kind of try to focus on myself whenever there's a lot of people around. But yeah. It, like even whenever, even whenever I drive to that area, like when I have to drive to that area, I try to like, honestly, if somebody else gets mad at me because I'm driving slow as fuck, or I'm trying to get over and no one's letting me over so I'm not moving or whatever, then, like, 
screw it, man. They can be mad all they want, and that's kind of the attitude that I've developed as yeah. far as that goes. Like, I'm just worried about driving safely and uh, keeping my own cool. Like, <laughs> okay. that's kind of what I've decided with that, and that's how I would suggest for you too. Anytime you do have to drive, just drive safe and worry about yourself, man. The thing is, I've been told being the overly cautious driver would be bad, but that's exactly a thing I would do. Yeah, I mean, like, when you're on the highway, you want to try to go close to the speed limit. Because, like, going under the speed limit is just as dangerous as going over the speed limit. Um, things like that. But, like, it's still good to be cautious. You just want to keep with the flow of traffic and things like that. But, like, I'm talking, like, whenever it's gridlocked, you know? Like, can't move at all. And uh, I'm trying to get over, but the assholes don't want to let me get over into the lane I need to be in or whatever. I, like, I'll, I'll sit there until somebody lets me through. It's gridlocked. It's not like <laughs> it's not like somebody's going to come speeding down and fucking slam into my ass, you know? So, screw it. Crate Tack and the Guardian, a gross save file, a memory card. PS2 and memory card slot one. Yes. I'd be more worried about you hurting yourself, Noodle. Yeah, she's not allowed to drive, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> not to mention, maybe you can explain this. Why the fuck can't I use the op opposite foot for the brake? It'd just be easier. I mean, you can. Like, there's no reason you can't, technically. Um, the only thing I personally would worry about with using two feet is like in the heat of the moment if I just kind of slammed my feet down to try to stop or something like that and then hit both brakes or I'm sorry both uh pedals but at the same time I guess like using one foot in the heat of the moment you could theoretically accidentally hit the wrong one or whatever but like there's no reason why you can't use two feet I'm pretty sure some people do it's not common at all like I don't think it's illegal to use two feet I mean People used to tell us growing up that it is illegal to drive barefoot or in flip-flops or in all this kind of stuff. like, Or, like, it's illegal to have the light on in your car when you're driving, stuff like that. But, like, it's not, though. That's just shit people say. It could be illegal to use both feet, but I'm pretty sure it's not. A quick Google search, I'm sure, would uh, clear that one up. And I mean, like... Whenever you have a manual transmission car, right? That's you kind of have to drive with two feet and a manual because you got to be able to press the uh, the clutch with one foot and the uh, uh, accelerator with the other and shit like that. So, like, I don't know. I don't personally think there's any sort of problem driving with two feet, but nice. I mean, true. But something tells me I would hit the wrong one anyways. Yeah, and that's what I say. I'm like, I. I don't know. In the heat of the moment, dude, if you're going to fuck up, you're going to fuck up. That's just kind of how that is. I don't know exactly what the area where you live is like or anything like that, but I would just suggest trying to stay off of highways and stuff like that as much as possible. Um, at least until you're, like, really comfortable with driving, and then slowly build up to going and driving in more and more populated areas, you know? Like, just slowly introduce yourself to more and more people on the road until you're comfortable with it. Oh, can we not go to the right? That totally looks like somewhere we should be able to go, but I guess not. These trees kind of remind me of tall, evil, giant beasts that like eating small, young shaman. What? <laughs> These trees remind me of tall beasts that like eating young shamans? Random as shit. I mean, sure, I could, like, vault over them and do all that shit, or I can just press circle repeatedly so that they can't even get close to me. <laughs> like, that seems to work just as well, so... Jump up to a ledge by pressing X or wall scramble by holding R1. Yeah, we kind of know how to do that already, man. I appreciate the tutorials game, but uh, you're going a little hard on it, don't you think? Practice in parking lots at night, too. That's what I did. I mean, I think practicing in parking lots whenever there's not other cars around is a good idea. But uh, we also know that whatever practice you did obviously didn't help them. <laughs> or at least it didn't teach you how to not run into the side of buildings. <laughs> no, you have an excuse, love. I'm just picking on you. <laughs> okay, I don't know if you have an excuse for running into the side of a building. 
but uh <laughs> you have an excuse for like whenever you ran into the curb and almost mixed exits and stuff like that you have excuses for that stuff at least though i'll say that much i do need more practice on the night i can drive in theory it's the practice i need yeah yeah, that, that's really all it is. You just got to get comfortable with it. Just take it slow, man. Oh, shit. We're supposed to run up the wall. It's all right. I got it. Um, It was a median, not a curb. That's worse, though, love. Like, <laughs> you're saying that like that's a good thing. That is worse. It would be better to drive over a curb than a median. And technically, you drove over a curb when you hit the freaking building. <laughs> so, like... <laughs> Really, it was both. <laughs> oh, Lord. I love you, Noodle. That's all I want you to know. <laughs> you don't want to talk to me anymore? <laughs> Rude. I want to talk to you still. <laughs> Not to stop, don't ask Noodle for driving advice or lessons. Yep. Wait, what's this new thing? I wasn't paying attention. The Juju ga gauge is full. Press R2 to activate the Juju Nova. Oh, how fancy. We can freeze time? It's like a spirit bomb or something? Holy shit, dude. That's kind of neat. So, honestly, though, like, usually I... I have more fun with the more open sort of platformer games with like things to collect and able to explore the world a bit more and whatnot but in a tax case at least compared to the last game this is working pretty well the style they got going on so far with the the kind of set oh god oh god yep i'm dead <laughs> Um, anyways, kind of having the set area that we're, that we're going through, the, the corridors that we're just platforming through and whatnot, it kind of works for tack. I also have a tack game for, I think it's the DS. I need to, uh, oh shit. I need to play that one at some point. I wonder if it's more of this style. I imagine it probably would be. I was wondering how they would translate tack to the DS. And I guess this is my answer. They probably fucking just made it this style game instead. Of an open exploration thing. I like how easily you can climb up the walls too. Like just hold R1. And you can like parkour your way up like that. That's pretty cool. Press X to jump to a higher ledge and circle to drop down. Very nice. This door works on some kind of a winch mechanism. Uh, you're a winch mechanism. Your acne is acting up again. Noodle suffers from that, too. I've been lucky. Rotate left to use the winch. I've been lucky. Since I've uh, gotten older, I haven't had a whole lot of problems with it. I still get some every once in a while, of course. But nothing like when I was a teenager. When I was a teenager, is pretty bad. Oh, what's great? Can't just say, oh, that's great, and not tell me what tack. Okay. How are we not dead? I, I thought we were going to die there, man. <laughs> uh, I think the game is still a little jank. <laughs> I don't know what exactly we were standing on over there or anything, but like, we were on something. We didn't die, so. You lost your slipper? How the hell did you lose your slippers, love? You wear them everywhere you go in the house. Did you maybe wear them upstairs and then uh, forget them upstairs or something? The jungle is really beautiful and really, really, really dangerous. That's me most of the time, too. I just deal with blackheads, but even then, it's not as bad as your folks keep saying. They're obsessed with Dr. Pimple Popper. I do watch Dr. Pimple Popper sometimes. It's gross, but also satisfying. Like, I don't know why, but I like it's hard to stop okay. watching sometimes. Even when I start to feel gross. Because, like, obviously with Dr. Pimple Popper, some of them are, like, bad, you know? Uh -oh. Time to but it can be it can be hard to look away. I guess it's like the whole train wreck thing, right? Like, it's terrible when you realize it's terrible, but you just can't look away. It's that. But with pimples. <laughs> Somehow, I got lost. 
You don't know when your feet are cold? I'm sorry, love. I hope you find them. I have mine up here, too, if you want to wear mine and while you're uh, looking for yours. I don't know where we're going. Are we going? Oh, like the tree. Shortcut. Okay, there we go. I, I don't know why, but like I could not see that at all. I was freaking blind to it, man. Oh, so satisfying to watch. It's like satisfying, but gross. Like it's, I don't know, man. It's weird. I don't think that's the way stone works. I don't think you can just go straight through them. They're constantly trying to pick your face to the point even when you've had enough, you have to fucking hit them to get them off you. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Noodle's a picker, too. She really likes to pick at them. I have to yell at her all the time to stop. Because a lot of times, if you don't do it right, you just end up pushing the, uh, the whatever's causing the acne. You just end up pushing it deeper. So, like, it comes out at first, but it's just asking for it to reappear. And, like, so that's why my, my philosophy, unless it has, like, a very well-defined head that's ready to pop or whatever, I just kind of let it go. Like, leave it alone. I haven't worn yours in forever. There's probably a family of spiders. I promise you that I don't think there's any spiders in them. <laughs> Your mom tried to do that shit. She would just reach and scratch. It's uh, overwrite? Yeah, overwrite this one. Or making you bleed, and then you have the red face and blood to deal with. Exactly, man. Exactly. That's my thing. That's why I just fucking don't touch them. It's fine. It's not that big of a deal anyways. It's just a little bit of acne, nice not the landing. end of the world. Uh, how did the shaman beat us here? He was totally back in the town earlier. I feel like I said that in the last game, too. Like, how does the shaman keep beating us everywhere that we go? This old man's got, like, a teleportation power he's not sharing with us or something? Jack, you must clean all the rooms and then the main shrine. I don't see how all this cleaning fits into being a shaman. Now, I'm off, and I'm, uh, leaving a spell running. You won't be able to leave until you're finished. Aren't we, like, the saviors of the fucking world or whatever like why do they keep making us do all this chore shit i mean i guess we're becoming a shaman seems like uh kind of what's going on so maybe that has something to do with it like he's trying to teach us discipline or or responsibility or, or something by making us do chores before we can become a shaman i guess i don't know Uh, it's just weird, man. Like, we've saved the world, what, twice now? And you're just gonna make us clean random rooms? Like, not even our own rooms, just random ass rooms for you? Like Bruh. I'm really glad that he says the same things over and over again. I may have forgotten that it, the new new piece may make a larger picture, or that whenever you approach a wall with a bunch of climbable notches in it, you may have to climb out of this Note situation. Climbing can be a useful way to get ahead. Or that climbing can be a useful way to get ahead. All I'm saying is, in general, I'm, I'm really happy that the game is uh, <laughs> telling us the same shit over and over again. Yes! Oh, no! Oh, wait. Ah, oh, shit, yeah, see, they did it again. If they would have put it in, like, the corner, you could have put it in the other corner. And then you totally could have won, but like, yeah. Oh, Odin Sphere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot to bring it up. Um, I plan on actually uh, posting a picture of it in Discord tomorrow, probably, um, because I got it. I got it. It's here. It's. Uh, I opened it up tonight. I just have to uh, verify that everything's working on the disc and whatnot. And uh, yeah, and then we'll play it, man. So yeah, I got it. I'm excited for it. I'm super excited for it. And that is going to be as long as uh, whenever I, I run a check on the disc to make sure that everything's working on it. Um, as long as that goes well, then that'll be the game we're playing tomorrow night. Yep, 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 yep. And uh, not only... <laughs> I'm glad you're excited, Rue. Uh, I'm excited for it too, honestly. The, the um, publisher, I like Atlas, the publisher. They make some cool random shit. Um, for one, and for two, like, 
as I was looking at the box art on it and whatnot, it actually looks like a really fun game. So I'm hoping it ends up being uh, being really good. And it's one that before you brought it up, I've never heard of. At least not that I remember. So like, I I'm glad to try something new, you know? Because a lot of the shit that we've played, I've at least known a little bit about. I mean, a lot of it I've known nothing about, but the ones I've known nothing about have usually been trash, right? Like, uh, like, uh, the, the paintball game that we played, for instance. Greg McGrath's paintball or whatever. Um, shit like that. But this one I've known nothing about, never heard of, but it actually looks good at the same time, so I'm excited for it. I don't think Rue wants you to play. What makes you say that? <laughs> Oh, it's such a good game. Like I said, if you enjoy it, you have to complete it. I probably will. I mean, I really like RPGs, and I know it's an RPG game. So there is a very good chance that, yeah, I, uh, I go for a completion run through on it. At least that, like, maybe not right off the bat, because, you know, I got uh, so many other things to play, and RPGs can take a little while. But, yeah, it's, uh, I'll most likely end up doing a completion playthrough. You literally stumbled across it by accident yourself. They just don't seem that excited about it, really. I don't know, Rue. Are you excited for a uh, for a little bit of uh, Odin Sphere? <laughs> Speaking of uh, updates that I wanted to give on the uh, Discord tomorrow, I just haven't had time to do it today with work and everything like that. Um, plus, I wanted to like get a look at everything, make sure everything was looking at fine before I did it. But the Dorseman also gave me a huge haul of, uh, I mean, mostly, like, sports games and stuff like that, but still, like, a huge haul of PS2 games and a handful of, uh, like, PSP and Dreamcast games and shit, too. Like, just all kinds of awesome shit, so if he, uh, if he sees this somehow, shout out to him. It's also his birthday today, so, uh, yeah, shout out to him, and if anybody wants to say happy birthday to him on the Discord before, uh, well, I guess it's after midnight now, so technically our time, his birthday was yesterday, but, yeah, you know what, he'll... He'll appreciate it either way. <laughs> happy birthday, Dorseman. I know you're not here and you can't see it right now, but happy birthday, boy. Oh, I thought we died. I thought it was like one hit kill. Do we, uh, do we have like a... Do we have like a health bar? I actually haven't seen a health bar for us. Oh, now we get the full juju meter thing. Oh, and is that where the staff comes from? Because we're becoming a, uh, a shaman. So this is like our shaman staff or whatever. That would totally make sense. I'm tempted to use the juju power to kill these little purple things because they're annoying. <laughs> they're kind of cute. They look a little odd, but they're kind of cute. But they keep fucking running away. I just need you all to die so that I can... Go on to the next room, please. Watch out, Tag is on the case. Watch out, Tag is on the case. Wow. The one-liners. The one-liners. Hey, it's your time. It still counts. That's fair. That's fair. Fucking Tic Tac AI. One of these days, I'll look into the, uh, the Twitch API to see how to make my own bot. And then we can do other fun oh, games and stuff like that. We can try, like, making a Hangman one or a uh, Connect 4 one or some shit. Because, like, I have all of the skills needed to do that sort of thing. I've just never looked into the AI to see how to, uh... To see how to connect to Twitch chat to do that sort of stuff, so... This one's provided by uh, Streamlabs. But we can always make our own. There's nothing stopping us, I guess. Uh, I feel like that's probably a bad idea. No, no, it's easy. Look. He's gonna break the crystal, isn't he? 
It's gonna fucking shatter it. Yup. Called it. That's gonna release some bad juju into the world. Staff of Lightning. Oh. oh, hi, Giants. I wonder if that has anything to do with the prophecy that they were speaking of. <laughs> What's wrong, Noodle? Seriously, getting out of here. Oh, that was all one level, really? Holy shit! Those are some long levels, man. New new pieces found. Seven eight. We missed a new new piece, and we took three hits. Damn. Actual try. Yeah, wasn't there multiple save points inside that one level? Unexpected. I used the last plate, really. I didn't realize that many of the plates were dirty. I'm sorry, love. I mean, the one was just salad that I had on it, so all you gotta do is wipe off the dressing real quick. Like, wash off the dressing, I mean, and... Like... Yeah, it should be an easy one to clean, at least. What do you... Oh, pancakes. I was gonna ask what you're making to eat. I'm getting a little hungry, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't want sweets, because, like I said, I already had too uh, much sweets today. But I do want something to eat. And I just don't know what the hell I want. I'm feeling lazy. I don't feel like cooking anything. I'll probably end up making like a bowl of ramen. A homemade bowl of ramen. Just just a simple one. I don't think. So I don't feel like digging any meat out of the freezer. Or thawing it out. Or cooking it or anything like that. So probably just, you know, some broth and some noodles. Like. <laughs> Aim using L and press X to fire your juju staff. Oh no. Can we invert this by any chance? Maybe? Uh, nope, there's no control options at all. This sucks. Do we have, like, unlimited... Okay, it seems like the, the shots are unlimited, though. So I guess that's good. Uh, I feel like killing the monsters probably does something for us, too. But, like, I can't control without it being inverted. This is really fucking with me, man. Oh, they, they drop. They, or I guess they might drop. They don't necessarily drop. But they might drop the, the new new pieces or whatever. This isn't a very exciting cart race, man. I feel like the whole thing's going in, in slow motion. Which is just kind of like... Like, it's fine, I suppose, but... I thought this was like the exciting us getting out of, uh, us getting out of, or away from the giant's chase or whatever. And everything's just moving at a freaking snail's pace, like. Smell that, you stinker. Oh, guys. Ah, the giant wind is still coming for us. <laughs> Oh no, we got hit! Wait, why'd I stop shooting all of a sudden? Oh, oh, they're taking off. Wait, do I have to let it recharge? Or is my fucking controller disconnecting or something? Also, how are we still alive? It's like we are we are reloading uh health after a while, like a like a halo shield or some shit. The bad guys are dead. Just move, lady. Let's get back to the village. Why does the J Runner move so slow? Like this is not at all exciting, man. Was this made for kids or something? It may have been made for kids. That's a possibility. Like they wanted to keep it keep it simple for the children. I don't know. This has to be a nightmare. I mean, didn't you have the Staff of Dreams? Did you lose the Staff of Dreams at the end of the last game or something? I think you would know a thing or two about nightmares.
I love how <laughs> the subtitles just say Wahoo really loud. Oh, now he said it. After we've landed. <laughs> I don't know if that's like a, a the PS2's having trouble loading thing or something, but like that audio clip was way late coming uh coming through there. Hey, thank you for the bits, Noodle. I appreciate it. And I just <laughs> I don't get the appeal of that art that you keep sending, that's all. I don't have a problem with Jasper themselves, like the character Jasper. I just don't I don't see why you're so obsessed with them at all. That's all. The pictures. Uh, no. No shoot. Although, like, our health is completely refilled. Filled, so I guess it doesn't really matter if we get hit. But, I mean, I'd still prefer not to, if possible. So, can we, like, have a... I wish there was freaking control menu man I want to be able to uh I want to be able to control the the sensitivity here too would be nice sensitivity and inversion that's all I need but how could he knock down entire trees but can't take out one little cart like uh, the ramps already open just go just go. Why did he move out of the way? I thought he was trying to kill us. That section made no sense. <laughs> and the first section was 24 minutes. The second level, 4 minutes. Makes sense. Accuracy, 12%. I mean, I was just holding the button the entire time. Were we not supposed to do that? <laughs> were we supposed to be trying to have a high accuracy or something? I just thought we were supposed to kill the shit. I don't know. The art is beautiful. I mean, to each their own. To each their own, man. You're allowed to like what you like, Noodle. Even if it's weird. Someone's been busy. Oh, uh, hi, Jabulba. Did you know somebody let out four titanic big G's from the Juju realms? Oh, they're from the Juju realms. That makes sense. I wonder. They must be kicking themselves right now. Ow! I don't suppose you know how to put them back where they came from. Me? No. Oh! But I know some Jujus that do. You, I mean, whoever it is. You're weird. I like you. Thanks. I like you too. Those are weird names. Titanic. Titanic Jujus. Odor is so sticky that even other Jujus don't want anything to do with them. Right. In fact, they're just your kind of people, Tac. Okay. Oh, that's a bit of a burn, isn't it? Like. Sort out. Bye now. Calling them like stinky and shit, saying they're weird, nobody wants to hang out with them, and then being like, that's just your kind of people? Wait, like this is, a real is that a shaman? I love it. Don't you what did <laughs> what the hell? What happened to this game? Whoa! This is weird as shit. That is one gross piece of trash. Oh, me? Yeah, look, uh, I've got a problem. Yeah. You're way too quick. I kind of let out this big G thing. <laughs> oh, so you're the one that let Trash Thulu out. Trash Thulu? Nice name. Er, yeah, and I kind of need to know how to put him back. Well, babe, you're going to need some lumpy magic for that. Lumpy magic? But there's no way I'm just giving it to you. Lumpy magic? I hate you're this. You're going to have to prove that you're worthy first. Like, hey. Lumpy. The world's ending. I'm pretty sure I can fix it. I just need you to teach me the way of this magic. Oh, I'm not going to teach it to you unless you can prove that you are can do this or whatever. Like, I know you're the only one that can do it. And, like, I'm definitely not going to try to save the world or anything like that. So, like, thank you for trying, but I'm not going to help you try. All right. Even though I do want the world saved, but, like, no. You have to, you have to do these chores for me first. Like, what is that? That's so dumb. 
Make lines of four or more faces of the same color to score. Player one has blue faces. Player two has gold. X to fire a sheep that causes a single rotation. Circle to fire a sheep that causes a double rotation. Hit pair for 200 points. Hit shaking tiki to turn nearby tiki's to your color. Hit purple target for a line of your color. Hit gold mask for double score. Hit blue mask to reverse opponent. I'm not going to remember all this. <laughs> like at all. Get four or more colors in a line and you score. Is there any reason not to just like hit the blue ones all the time? Oh. I see. Okay, so like the one thing has to rotate once or twice. I got it now. Okay, and we got to we got to beat her at this game to to get it. I scored for my opponent. Oh shit, I'm <laughs> It said I'm blue, isn't it? Oops, I was trying to get red. Um is there any way to restart? I don't see a way to restart. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know how to play the game. You threw too many rules at me at one time. I got confused. Uh. You scored against yourself, lady. Uh, you're doing great, sweetie. Thanks. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, they're definitely going to win. I, I, what if I just exit? Can I restart that way? Because, like, <laughs> there's definitely no way we're winning now. After fucking it up that much, we just need to restart. And I'm guessing that will unlock the, the mini games and challenge modes or whatever whenever we play all those little mini games inside the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I kind of know how to play now, game. Kind of. Let's see what you're okay. Uh. Uh, no, lady. I didn't score against myself. You scored against yourself. Stop turning my shit. I'm trying to get those ones, lady. Uh. And then one more time there, and then there. And there, if I just fuck with her enough, I feel like I'll just kind of automatically kind of like win, right? Like as long as she doesn't get any. Uh, stop it. Oh, why did everything rotate? So every once in a while the entire board just rotates? I mean, that's fair, I guess. Uh, nope, get that one. And then... And there, and then one there, and then there, and then one there, and then that should be five. What? No! That... That mean woman. <laughs> Stop rotating my things! <laughs> I'm trying to rotate those things. Uh, rotate that one, rotate that one. Yeah, go somewhere else. Stop rotating these ones. These ones are mine. Okay, I think I need to like she has a bunch of them on the board right now because I've just been going for the same one over and over again <laughs> uh, I mean am I winning though I think I'm winning right yeah I got 550 she's got a hundred so I'm definitely I okay I definitely won that time much better now that I was going for the right team man <laughs> hey another 2,000 points for the community challenge I appreciate that a lot Ruth thank you we still have a long time, so don't feel rushed or anything to get it in there. But it's going for, if I remember correctly, for the entire month of uh, March here. So, like, no rush or anything like that. But I appreciate it nonetheless. It'll be fun whenever we have the chance to do it. 
I also, I would like to do that community day was uh, fun too. I'd like to try to do that maybe, maybe once a month, but I don't know if I'll have time to do it once a month, sadly. Okay, At the very least, once every other month. Um, though we are going to have to switch up the games that we play on stream. I was thinking maybe of doing... Uh... Oh, shit. I forget the name of it now. The, the Google... Where you drop somewhere on the map and you have to figure out where you're from. Well, what the hell is it called? Ge Geo GeoGuessr. GeoGuessr would be a fun one. Um, if I pay for Kahoot, then we could okay, do that one. That'd great. be a fun one, too. Why well, I'm low on points, Bye. so I need to save up. Almost time for an ad break, huh? It is, it is, yeah. After, uh, after this cutscene plays out, we're gonna do one of those, actually. Anytime would be fun. I kind of figured out how to get my mic working, but still a work in progress. <laughs> well, I'm glad you kind of got it figured out, at least, right? Kind of, sort of, a little bit, whatever. And then, like, we're gonna need a, a whole day, but I would love to do, like, a Civilization or an RTS game or something with, with a group of people, too. Because those games, I feel, are best with a, with a whole group instead of just, like, one or two other people. Like, if we could get, like, four or five people all playing a Civ match together, I feel like that'd be a lot of fun. At least until I get uh, destroyed right in the beginning of the game and then just have to watch for the rest of the stream. Yeah. <laughs> You can only get one or the other to work for the mic and headset, so you gotta workshop it. Oh, no. Oh, man. But, all right, guys. Yeah, we are gonna take a quick break. I need to uh, stand up and, and stretch and do all that sort of stuff. And uh, we also gotta take that ad break. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then we'll be right back, guys. Full back fist combo. Oh, okay. So, it's not like a chain thing. Like, in God of War, you keep... It's a power attack. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so it is some sort of combo. There we go. Yeah, sort of similar, I guess. Very different in all honesty, but yeah, basically the same thing. Whatever, right? Heavenward kick. Press square four times, then finish with triangle. Okay. Okay, it's a little weird the way you have to change the chain the combos together. If you hit them too slowly, like you have to hit it pretty rapidly, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I was trying to hit it a little more slowly, like waiting until the animation was almost done and then hitting it again. That did not do anything. So you kind of got to like quickly tap one, two, three, four, wait a second, hit triangle. It kind of seems like. The Shadow Clone, of course, this is what he's famous for. Just tap R1 during a five hit combo. And cause a lot of damage. Okay. Okay, so you just make a random shadow clone that just jumps out and does a uh, extra hit on him. Cool, cool. So definitely said a little bit later in the series. Not like super late or anything, I don't think. But not like right in the beginning either. A little time has passed. Release shadow clones by using stamina to build up your ch chakra. The more chakra you build up, the more clones you'll create and the longer they'll last. If you have an enemy locked on with L1, your clones will focus their attacks on that enemy. Hold down R1 and release. Okay. Create two clones at once and attack. Was I supposed to attack with them? No, okay. <laughs> I kind of hate when games have tutorials like this, to be honest, because it's just, I feel like it's the worst way to do a tutorial, when you could just get us into the action and just kind of tell us as we're going along with little pop-ups or something, but I guess it's fine. Like the Shadow Clone Jutsu, the power strikes performed by using stamina. The more shocker you amass, the stronger your power strike will be. Uh, okay. Power strike, hold down R2 and release. Can be used in mid-air. Okay. We just hold that down, and then is that was that a Rasengan or however the whatever the heck it's called in, in Naruto? Is that what that was supposed to be? Of course, no. He summons all of the Shadow Clones to help him make that, right? I guess that was just a powerful attack or something. Oh, we got the sexy Jutsu guys. Use up a large amount of stamina at once, but can be used instantly without building up chakra. Press R1 and R2 together. See, this is the stuff that I'm gonna forget. Is um what? There it goes. <laughs> did that did that do anything? 
<laughs> I don't know if this is actually doing anything. You really gotta hit those, like, at the same time. All right. That break flew by, man. Like, I feel like I hardly even took a break, to be honest. I, uh, maybe it's because I spent most of it playing tic-tac-toe and losing. Well, tying. So I guess it wasn't, wasn't a, a, a loss loss, but like, not winning's just as bad as losing, right? <laughs> All right, what are we actually doing now? I guess we're just uh, going through whatever this section is after that mini game. It's weird. Seriously, the mic plug in the back works, but not the front. And the headset plug in the front works, but not in the back. So you got to find some sort of extension or get a different mic. Do you only have one? So wait, is it two plugs in the front and back? Maybe the lumpy man or is it only one plug on the front? Press and hold triangle to activate your med. Ooh, how fancy. Uh, did we wow. want to knock everything down here, though? I hope I don't have to clean that up. Oh, there was a hole we couldn't get across. I didn't even see that. One mic and one headphone plug in the front. Same in the back. And your your headset, does it have one plug or does it have two plugs on your headset? Because I know some headsets have the uh, four-pole but single plug, and then others have two three-pole plugs. So which one is yours? Do you have the two plugs or the one? It's the only thing I can think of off the top of my head. One plug, but you have to use a splitter for the headset to work on the PC. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you already got the splitter. Man, yeah, I don't know then. That is that is weird. It, I wonder if it's some sort of like a driver error or something like that. Because it sounds almost like... It sounds almost like whenever you plug one in, the other's being disabled or something like that. Um, which is like a thing on... Uh, some some drivers have a setting where if you plug in a, a headset to the front, it'll disable the, the whatever's plugged into the back and shit like that. But it sounds almost like it's misconfigured and it's... I don't know. I'm just, I'm just guessing. I'm just throwing shit out there. That's a really strange problem, honestly. I don't know. I hope you get it figured out, though, because, yeah, that's... <laughs> That would definitely be annoying as hell, man. What are with all the little spiders? Did I did I regen when I smushed a smiter, spider? No, okay, it's just the... It's just the magic thing popping up. We need to magicify this, this bitch. I mean, it is a refurbished computer, so something was bound to happen, right? And really, I'll have to check my hardware geek check on that then. I don't know. Like I said, I mean, there are some... It could be some sort of weird driver error, but I, I don't know. It's also possible that, yeah, the, the ports are just broken or whatever. It's definitely a possibility. Thank you so much for the bits, Noodle. I appreciate it, love. You're slowly taking back your top spot. You'll, you'll get it, love. I believe in you. <laughs> you only have another uh, 560 to go. <laughs> no need for the sad face. You're number one regardless of what uh what you are on the leaderboards. Ooh, new new thing. New new nugget. New new nougat. <laughs> you only has 165 left? I'm sorry, love. That's alright. If you can't be number one on Twitch this month, you'll just have to be number one on Twitch next month. And again, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. It's just the little leaderboard thingy. So, if anything else, they definitely simplified the game. I will say that much. Compared to Tack 1 and 2. Ooh. You got a three times emote combo? I don't know why that symbol popped up. What does that symbol mean? Copy. Three times. What is this symbol? Paste and search for... Uh, that translation, maybe? Translation. 
Uh, okay, that's not. <laughs> I thought like Google Translate would pop up. It did not. Translate. Beam? So if that's Chinese, Google says it means beam. I don't know what the hell beam? A three times beam? What? That's what it says for Japanese too, and I'm fairly certain it's one of those two. What the fuck is that kanji? Bean. It's bean or beam with an M is what Google's saying. Is that Japanese? It could be Japanese or Chinese. It's kanji, but there's 2,000 roughly common Chinese kanji used in ja uh, Japanese. So it could be either one, but I have no idea. Like I said, Google says it means beam. So, <laughs> but I don't know what uh, that has to do with it. I'm guessing it has something to do with the three sad emotes in a row, right? So it's like a three times, I don't know, sad emote. Is it, It's a pleading face. Maybe that's the kanji for that face. I don't, I, <laughs> I'm very confused to be honest. Complicated puzzle. Wow. Yeah, the sad thing. Maybe. It's the only thing I can think of is that, yeah, it has something to do with that. Uh, I mean, I'm assuming we just got to hit all the buttons. Wow. That was a hard puzzle, guys. I'll try three different ones if you want. I mean, I, I we know there's the, the emo one, right? Like, if you... Oh, you're going to do, like, three of the same. Okay, and then do a different emoji. This group must be the way out of here. And then see what it says. Did it work? It just got a 3x combo that time. Just a regular 3x combo. Not a 3x uh, kanji character combo. <laughs> so I have no idea, man. Yeah, I don't get it. Try that one again, though. Try putting the sad face three times again. After, after you do the gross face or whatever, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. There you go. So, and that one's different than the last one, right? The last kanji? Let me scroll up here. Yeah, and that's a different kanji. So, maybe maybe that is the, uh, the kanji for that face. That's the only thing I can think of. I, I mean, maybe they're, like, beaming eyes or something like that. Kind of makes sense, right? Uh, go back to the translate page, please. Uh, abuse. <laughs> that one's translating to abuse. <laughs> it is. It's definitely a different kanji. And, uh, it's translating to abuse, according to Google. Now, Google is pretty well known to not be great at translating Chinese and Japanese. So, like, it could be wrong. But that's what it's coming up as, as uh, as abuse. The first one is beam, B-E-A-M, and the second one is abuse. What if I put in that symbol, emote? Uh, get emoji, all emojis to copy and paste. Find emoji by name or description. No results found. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> uh, emoji. Fun fact, though, that's where the word emoji comes from, is uh, Japan. I don't know, man. Yeah, no, I don't know. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I, it's very strange. Yeah, I don't get it. I have no idea, to be honest with you. Why are you abusing me, then? Nobody's abusing you, you weirdo. Why are you making gross faces? What if you do three of uh, one of those two again? Like, will it give us the same same word? The same kanji, I mean? I'm assuming it probably will. Like, like I said, I'm, I'm guessing that's like what that emoji is in Japanese or Chinese or whatever. It's probably that kanji. It's gotta be what it is, man. Is that the same kanji? 
Uh, scroll up. Scroll up, scroll up. Yes, that's the same kanji. Yeah, that's the same one. Oh shit, I'm being hit. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Wait, is our magic meter also our health meter? Yeah, it's the same. So it's it's gotta be. I can't think of anything else it would be. Ooh, what I could do, I don't know. Can I copy and paste emojis? No, I can't. I don't think. I don't know what the alt code is for that emoji either. Control C, Control V. Ple yeah, I just copied pleading face. Pleading face emoji. Japanese. Pleading face Japanese emoji? Uh... No, those are like the 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 ones with all the cool characters. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Rue screwed it up for you, Noodle. <laughs> Noodle was trying the other face. It's got to be three in a row. There can't be no other messages. It can be different people, but it's got to be uh all the same emoji, I guess, to get the kanji. But why kanji of all things, though? Yeah, I have no idea why. Like, I mean, I know Twitch is a thing in Japan, right? So, like, maybe maybe it's to appease to the to the Asian market or to the Japanese market or whatever. It is not my fault. I mean, it kind of is, though. Like, sure, you didn't know Noodle was doing it. But, like, you didn't have to screw it up for her either, you know? <laughs> Joking, of course, it's definitely not your fault. Noodle should have announced their plans. See, it only seems to be certain ones, too. Because, yeah, the, uh, the, the, whatever you want to call that face, the devilish face, had no effect at all. What does the thingy do? Oh, it just gives us some blue orbs. Lame. I was hoping it would be something fun. Why is it lumpy magic, though? Like, what is up with that? What makes magic lumpy? Is there non-lumpy magic? Is there smooth magic? To counteract the lumpy magic? Is all magic textured in some way? These are important questions that I need answers to. Oh, move it up and down. You gotta crank it. Crank that. Alright, well that was a thing. <laughs> I'm glad the game had us do that. That very short cranking instead of just having it be like an animation or something. Jump onto the monkeys. Oh, it's like monkeys in a barrel. One beautiful monkey moment. I am starting to hate this game. <laughs> It's, it's too much. It's one liner overload. Uh, can't we like attach ourselves to these too and spin it? Yeah. Wait, do they need to look at each other or do they need to spin all the way around? Ooh, hold on. And then pull it down. Oh, look at that. It shoots a laser beam. I don't know why that's helpful, though. Do we need them both to shoot the laser beam? Okay, pull it down, and then... Now let me do the other one. Or, oh, we only had... I thought we'd have to, like, get the two combined. <clears throat> I guess just having one at a time was good enough? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hot friend, yeah, that's the that's its name. Like that's what you have to type in, capital P, capital F, pot friend. <laughs> that's how you get that emoji. Ah, do I still have access to the choo choo one? C H O O. No, the hype train one. I think it's gone. Oh wait, yeah, there it is. There it is. Hype law. Wait, was it hype law? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was hype law. Look at that. That's my new favorite emoji. It's because uh, we had a hype train yesterday going. And for every level of uh, the hype train that we get, we get a uh, extra little emoji unlocked there or whatever. And I really like that one. 
He looks like a frog. The pot friend, the pot friend does look like a frog. But yeah, apparently he's a pot friend. I, I don't really know what that means, but it's what he is though, damn it. And the hype law reminds me of like Squirtle or something. And I am in love with it. Like, I absolutely love Squirtle, man. And Bulbasaur for that matter. And he's like a green Squirtle. Holy shit, that was hard for me to say for some reason. He's like a green Squirtle, which is essentially like the best of both worlds, right? He's a pop friend. It means pop friend. What does that mean? Like, I don't know what pop friend means. Uh, is it a friend on pot? I don't... <laughs> What's a pop friend? A friend from a pot, maybe? Did he did he come from a pot? I don't know his origin story. I don't think you do either, to be honest. You were thinking Franklin? What's Franklin? Is that a reference that I... Uh, that I should recognize? Wait a second. Oh, it's, it is a pot, isn't it? I straight up thought that it was a weird ass frog. Like, no lie. Not joking at all. I thought that was a frog, just a weird looking frog. I had no idea that was actually a pot. <laughs> you don't know Franklin? I mean, is it from, uh... Uh, over the, over the garden wall? Over, is that what it's called? Is that what you're talking about? This new new piece looks like it's I'm gonna slap him. Hey, Mr. Perry, no. You could be my ticket out of here. Cause that pot friend also reminds me of something that would be from over the garden wall. Franklin the turtle, you fool. I don't know what that means. <laughs> what is Franklin the turtle? Obviously, it's something y'all think I should know, but, like, I have no idea who Franklin the Turtle is. Is it from a TV show? Is it from, like, a, is it an internet thing? Like, a TikTok thing or something? Because, like, I don't TikTok, really. Why do you hurt us like this? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know how I'm hurting. I'm assuming because I don't know. But, like, should I know? Why should I know? Dude will show him. It's gotta be... It's gotta be a TikTok thing, right? It's gonna be a TikTok thing. Either a TikTok or a Vine thing, I'm assuming. It feels like a TikTok or Vine thing or something. It was a PBS show or Nick Jr. show? Well, I didn't watch PBS. I wasn't a PBS kid. So, like... If it was a, uh, a Nick Jr. thing, then I'm kind of surprised I didn't see it. But yeah, I, I was not a PBS kid growing up. Like, I didn't have cable for a long time growing up, but I still didn't watch uh, PBS. Like, he was a book character too. I'm pulling it up. Hold on. Ah, uh, I mean, okay, I've seen him before. I've definitely seen him before. Franklin. Whose adventure? Franklin the Turtles Adventure Series. Join Franklin Bear, Fox Beaver, Snail Goose, Rabbit Skunk, Badger, and Raccoon as they travel outside Woodland, meeting new and old. Blah, blah, blah. TV series. Franklin and Blinky Bill's Extraordinary Balloon Adventure. Franklin meets the dog and pony show. Yeah, no, I've never heard of this. <laughs> I have seen the character before, at least. Like, I have seen the character. That looks familiar, but I I have no idea. Like, I, I yeah, I've definitely never seen the show, man. The show sound doesn't sound familiar at all. <laughs> roll your eyes. That's, I mean, that's fine. You can roll your eyes. I don't know what to tell you. It didn't say on the page that I pulled up, it didn't say where it came from, like what channel. I'm assuming it probably was a PBS thing, because, like I said, wasn't a PBS kid. 
future. I did read some books as a child, but I uh, apparently missed the Franklin books. <laughs> Uh, attack, there's some dudes coming. If you want to, like, hurry up with the, the blowing up and stuff. Wait, did we get it? Okay, yeah, it just unlocked a thingy. A new new thing. A, new -new. Just a little piece of new new. Yeah, that's it. That's what we got. A <laughs> little piece of new new. You remember the one where Franklin was upset he didn't have any teeth to give the tooth fairy, so his parents made something up? <laughs> what the heck is... Okay, then. Yeah, it was PBS. See, that's why. That's why. The only stuff I know from PBS, like, I know Arthur, but I've only ever seen a couple episodes of it. Um, I know, like, Elmo and Big Bird, stuff like that. But again, I, I never actually watched that stuff. I just know that stuff exists. Uh, and, oh, and Reading Rainbow. Like, I know Reading Rainbow was a thing that exists, too. But, like... That's about it, man. That's that's all I got. I'm positive there was more stuff on <laughs> on PBS, but like, you remember Little Bear, but nothing of of Little Bear, Sesame Street. I mean, that's like Big Bird and Elmo and shit, right? That's what I said. <laughs> it's the same thing. Big Bird, Elmo. Uh, the grouchy dude, like the lions one. I can't remember that show. Mm. You know what I do remember? Bear in the big blue house. <laughs> That's what I remember. But I think that one was on Disney? Question mark. Oscar was the name of the grouch. Yeah. Okay. I believe you. It probably was. Never saw the Lions one. I don't know the Lions one. You love Bear in the Big Blue House? Bear in the Big Blue House was good. That was that was some good stuff. Even if the puppets were a little creepy sometimes, it was pretty cool. Also, suddenly we're playing freaking... What is the name of that uh, Shadow of the Colossus? Like... <laughs> Just riding this giant. And not in the good way. Wink, wink. I don't like all of the movement, though. It's kind of making me a little nauseous. Magic it up, boy. That was Disney. It was called Between the Lions. You're a big, comfy couch girl. Yeah, you brought it up a few times, but I never really uh, watched Big Comfy Couch either. Wasn't my cup of tea. Oh, why is everything falling apart? Let's see what else was there. There was a puppet one and something about a butterfly. Oh, Jojo Circus? Yeah, I see none of those sound familiar to me. I don't know anything about the puppet one. I don't know anything about a butterfly one. Oh, no, you freaking dumbass tack. Just grab it. Stop, stop running up it and just grab it. It's not the same show as I was asking, but that was a good one. Jojo Circus. Didn't watch it. Oh, Clifford. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I didn't know Clifford. I didn't watch... Oh, man, why are we falling off so easily? I didn't really watch Clifford, like, more than a couple episodes, because, again, wasn't a PBS kid, but uh, I did see some Clifford, and I know what Clifford is, at least. Magic School Bus? Okay, the Magic School Bus, that one was actually pretty good. I'll give you that one. I don't know how much of it I've seen, but I've seen some of it. Like, not only in my own time, but also, like, in school and shit. And, yeah, Magic School Bus is pretty damn good. I'll be honest, I kind of forgot that was a PBS show, though. Like... That one was the shit, man. For sure. You like the... Well, that's random as shit. What do you mean you like the booty hole, Vine? <laughs> what? I guess it has something to do with, like, the magic school bus going in someone's booty hole. I'm assuming that's what it was going on. Because, <laughs> like, they would shrink down and go inside people's bodies. So, uh, I'm assuming they shrunk down and went in someone's booty hole. These guys don't look too pleased to see me. 
Oh, hi, uh... What are you guys? You're like, uh... Sack boys. Like, mean sack boys. <laughs> Bro, I've been playing a little bit of Sack Boys Big Adventure, whatever the hell it's called, on the PS5. It's a lot of fun. I think it's available for PS4, too, if any of you have a uh, PS4. But, like, it's some good shit. It's fun. Magic School Bus Vine. I watched exactly zero Vine. Uh, other than what, like, you and a couple other people have showed me. Like, I've never had Vine downloaded. I've never looked up Vine compilations. I was not a Viner. I'm not really a short-form entertainment person, for the most part. I got into them a little bit before TikTok was TikTok, when it was music.ly or whatever. I watched them a little bit, and these days I've watched, like, a couple Facebook reels or whatever. Um, mostly, like, comedian stuff, but... Yeah. I'm more like a, a medium to long format person, you know? That's kind of that's kind of what I do. Uh, what's that link you just shared, Noodle? <laughs> I don't know if I appreciate this. Oh, okay. No, my lord. <laughs> it's the vine. It's the one that you want that you're talking about. Okay. That's fair, I guess. <laughs> I can't blame you for that one. Like and like I just watched it. That one's not bad. Like it's fine. I got a little bit of a chuckle out of me, but I don't know, man. I'd rather watch like a, a 30 minute YouTube video or something than uh than a seven second vine. <laughs> mm, girl, that's a booty hole. Oh, I get it now. Yeah. Are you gonna, are you gonna wake up, bro? Uh, you and this bro over here are kind of looking, kind of looking sus, man. I wish there was a little bit more uh, feedback whenever you damage somebody. Like, I couldn't even tell if I was actually hitting those dudes there at first. All vines live rent-free in your head. I mean, isn't that a TikTok thing? Or did that get started on Vine too? The whole living rent-free in my head thing. Super bad dude. Not a super bad dude. That's scary. Will our R2 kill him like he kills everything else? Come on, destroy him. Hell freaking yeah, dude. Too easy. Press the R1 button when the icon appears to defeat him quickly. Uh, how about we just fucking murder him? How about that? That works. What just happened? Oh, did I die? We got a magic it, I guess. My bad. <laughs> he says he hates vines, but I got him coding two of them all the time. Which two? The sex with your mother? Is that a vine? I thought that was a YouTube video. There are many things that live for free in my head. Uh, for me, it's stupid stuff like uh, the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse song, even though I never... Well, I mean, okay, I've watched a few episodes of it, but like other than that, I never really watched it. But for some reason, it gets stuck in my head all the time. That definitely lives rent free. That's a song. I mean, yeah. Oh, you mean the sex with your mother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're right, it is a song, but I didn't know if it started on Vine or something. God damn it, now you got that in my head? Good. If it has to be in mine, it has to be in everybody's <laughs> all the time, and I don't know why. Like, it's always just there in the back of my mind on repeat, and I honestly don't understand it, like, at all. I love you, bitch. I ain't never gonna stop loving you, bitch. I only ever say that to you, though, like, <laughs> because you started saying it, so I started saying it back. And why are you running? I don't quote that one all the time. I do say it every once in a while, but it's definitely not an all the time thing. And, you know, like, I don't think I've ever seen the why are you running one, and I've only ever seen the I love you bitch one once, and that's because you made me watch it, like... It's my dick in a box? Wait, what? <laughs> it, 
Are you talking about the song Dick in a Box? Or like, do you just have a dick in a box? I'm confused. <laughs> She's trying to fuck me? I'm so confused. I have no idea. I'm assuming these are other vines or something. Again, the only reason why I know the two Noodle just brought up is because she made me watch them. The song do flow? I don't know, man. You might keep a dick in a box somewhere. <laughs> Noodle keeps a dick in a box. So, like... <laughs> Trash Thulu. Right I like... Man, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the stupid, like, having to crank stuff. Like, in God of War, and I absolutely adore God of War, but, like, in God of War, having to hold the R2 button to open a door, or, like, having to, to mash buttons to do things or whatever, like, just making an animation, man. Like, why? what's the point of me, me just taking the joystick and pressing it up and down 20 times? There's a choice of routes. Let's go for this precarious looking uh, rope, I guess. I mean, you're not wrong, but I mean, it's not a real one. <laughs> It'd be kind of weird if it was, man. You have a real dick in a box? That sounds like uh, some psycho shit. I don't know. <laughs> Could be taxidermied, you know? That makes it better, right? <laughs> a warning to others. <laughs> How would you show them the warning, though? Like, do you have to, like... So, like, they come over to the house or whatever, and then it's like, hey, before you try anything tonight, I just need you to see this thing in this box, and you just open it up? Like, I don't get it. I don't... How would you... <laughs> Not gonna lie, I found real ones gross looking. Noodle said awesome or pretty. I pretty much agree with uh, Rue on that one, man. Of course, I'm also a, a cis dude, so like. But yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't particularly find dicks all that uh, all that uh, pretty. So wait a second. I think this is trying to tell us something. Do we press that one, and then skip to and press that one, and then. Oh, wait, no, the big one. So those two. Okay, so this one, this one. Oh, wait, are they all turning on and off? Hold on, I'm confused. And then skip one and then that one. And then turn the big one off. There we go, okay. I got it! I got it! Straight girl here? Well, I mean, yeah, but straight girls tend to, like, penis. At least a little bit. Gary has a pretty one. Gary has shown his penis to TikTok? Or is Gary the one that you said also does NSFW stuff? Or no, that was a lady. I don't remember. <laughs> a stream agrees. Gross, but yes, an effective warning as well. Actually, funny story. When we were moving, my sister had her friends help and they found it and it traumatized. How did it traumatize them? Like, it's just a, it's just a dick. Like, it's not traumatizing. Like, sure, I think they're kind of gross looking, most of them, a little bit, you know? But, like, it's just a dick. If they're women, chances are they probably, you know, like them. And if they're men, then they probably have one. So, like, I don't know, man. I've never understood the whole being like that, that weird about sex stuff. I don't know. Or or sexual oh, organs. Oh, shit. I don't have enough to just murder you instantly. Uh. Ow. Wait, are we dead? No, I just couldn't get up. How do we... I don't actually know how to kill you because I... <laughs> oh, oh, okay. The thingy popped up. Right there. Uh. Okay. Try again. The thingy... The thingy's popping up. Right there. Wait, didn't it say press R1? I pressed R1. Maybe it was L1. No! What the hell? Game. Work. Oh, there we go. Okay, we had to slide under him and hit him from behind. That works, I guess. Demi over here so I can pick and choose as I please. Hell yeah. 
<laughs> Noodle. <laughs> Twitter. You saw it on Twitter. Your friend's butt plug was played with when they were moving. Weird. Uh, he does have an OnlyFan, but he posted on Twitter a lot. Apparently, they haven't met anyone with toys, but OMFG, it was stupidly hilarious. Besides, it gives Mo please the most. <laughs> Mo please. <laughs> so, wait, do you consider all dicks pretty noodle? Or do some actually gross you out at all? More play. I, I figured that's what you meant. <laughs> oh, some are gross. Any examples? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't want to use my special power. I don't know how, like, you can't link that in chat. Like, seriously, so... <laughs> don't make me disable links entirely. I mean, what y'all do in your, uh, your own DMs, I guess, is up to y'all, but, like... <laughs> there was one I saw where the opening on the head was huge. Y'all weird people. I don't remember where I saw it. <laughs> I just... Uh, I'm just... Uh, I just think it's hilarious that you asked for examples. That's great, man. Y'all keep things interesting. I made stream look at it to see if it was normal. I honestly don't remember at this point. I probably blocked it out of my mind. Wait, wasn't there a, uh, a magic thingy? Yeah, there we go. What's the what's the magic thingy do? If we magic it. Says the bye guy. <laughs> uh. You said, um, yeah, that's a pretty big opening. That sounds like something I would say. Yeah, totally. Shit, no, climb. Whoa, why did all the colors just change like that? That was weird. Damn, if a dude says as much. <laughs> I mean, like, I'll be honest. I've only ever seen a few of them before. Like, uh, outside of porn. I guess I've seen quite a few if you count porn. Like, <laughs> but, like, in person, I've only ever seen a few of them. And uh, the openings, uh, the pee hole, the urethra, whatever the hell, usually isn't all that large, you know? Saw a tiny one, but the head was like huge. It looked like a mushroom. <laughs> Why did the chat turn into this? <laughs> this is why we can't make new friends, guys. We scare everybody away with this. <laughs> Somebody comes in, they're gonna see the chat and be like, yo, this seems kind of interesting. And then they see what y'all are actually talking about. And then it's like, nope. Mm -mm. No, girl. <laughs> because it's us, dude. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it says something about me that y'all are the friends I choose to hang out with. So, do we really need new friends? Well, no. Obviously not. But it would be nice if uh, the stream were able to, like, pay our bills someday. I'm going to keep doing it regardless. Don't get me wrong. I have no... I don't think it's ever going to get to that size, but dude, it would be pretty cool if it did. Hey, we're awesome. If they can't handle combos like this, they're just big babies. That's fair. That's fair. But it's all the more reason why I have to keep the uh, the mature thing on. Like, <laughs> Y'all have left me no choice. I can never turn the mature the mature switch off at this point. Oh, so wait, does he have to hit the ground first and then we can do the R1 thing on him? Uh, I have no idea what just happened, but we killed him, so like that works. And now more little dudes. Is this supposed to be like a boss section or something, right? Because aren't we on the back of like a giant or something? Why aren't we fighting the giant? Why does the giant have all these little dudes on him? Are these, like, lice or something for giants? Like, it just means mature friends can join. Want to see Gary, Gary Rodriguez on Twitter? We're very mature here. Sure, we can judge them together. <laughs> and complain about how gross they are. Well, except she said Gary was uh, pretty, remember? She likes Gary. Wonder what happens if I hit this? Well, then just hit it, bro. 
Stop doing backflips and shit and just hit it. Oh, it's knocking out his teeth so we can go through. Do we really need to knock out all of them, though? Couldn't we just squeeze through that one? You missed one of my messages? Hey, we're awesome at the Can't Handle Convo. So you're saying if I see an ugly one again, I can't send them to you? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see. I see the message that I missed now. My bad. I only have a little window to see messages in. Uh, where are we going again? Is it over here? Okay, yeah, I think it's over here. There's stuff, so. <laughs> I hate dicks in general, so I gotta see your standard pretty anyway. Sorry, Noodle, sure, send it. I gotta see this. Send you the link to his Twitter. I made my friend. Yeah, send it in a DM. Like, no NSFW linking in chat, obviously, guys. <laughs> Don't make me turn links off. Talk about it, that's fine. But, like... She said meh, but she's a hardcore chubby chaser. Oh yeah, I think I know who you're talking about now. Say it in our Discord chat, don't worry. You mean DM though, right? Like, <laughs> no NSFW in the Discord either now. I'm not stupid. I know you're not stupid, but like sometimes you don't think about things and you just do them. So just gotta, just gotta make sure, that's all. Oh boy, that was fun. This game actually, like I said, this, okay, like it's not amazing or anything, don't get me wrong, but it is better than TAC 2. So I'm having more fun with it than I had with that one. That's for sure. But it is 125, guys. How time flies when we're having fun, but it is time to start signing off. I'll let y'all finish your little conversation with each other there. I'm not gonna like cook, kick you off. Holy shit. I feel like my stutter is getting worse by the day. You would think with like more speaking like this, I would be getting better, but no, I'm just getting worse. <laughs> I'll calm down. I'm sure she wasn't going to do it outside of DM. Nope, the general chat. So one of your friends can click it and see what happens. I mean, the people who are currently on the Discord probably wouldn't be mad about it. I know a couple of them have definitely sent worse stuff to each other before. So, <laughs> but like, yeah. <laughs> A little bit of chill time before I leave. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not, like, hopping straight off or anything. I'm going to catch up with you guys real quick before I hop off. And then, of course, there's always the Discord. That's what the Discord's for, you know? Anytime we want to chat and BS after the stream ends, bruh, right there. Oh, man. But, yeah, it was fun. It was a fun game, though. And uh, I'm glad you guys came to hang out with me while I played it, of course. Noodle and Rue, the two top supporters here, along with uh, Nate usually, but uh, he must have been busy or tired or something. I can't blame the man. He does have children. It's got to be hard uh, <laughs> staying up as often as he does. Oh, it wants me to create an account of you. Oh, because it's NSFW. Yeah, probably. Speaking of, I need to start using my Twitter account at some point. Like, someday I will. Especially with how loud his kids are. I wouldn't... See, I use RTX voice. So, like, I can't hear whenever uh, it, it stuff's going on in the background. Like, a tiny bit of it bleeds through every once in a while. But I, I'll be honest, I didn't even know his kids were being that loud. Like... <laughs> you view an incognito all the time? Did they change it? I don't know. I thought there was a way to look at uh, look at stuff on Twitter without being... Signed in with an account. I thought, but I, I don't know. Oh, no. The stream's breaking up. Okay. Well, hopefully it uh, smoothed itself out. I don't know what just happened. Just started uh, getting encode or encoding lag. Yeah, so I started getting some uh, drop frames from the network. I'm not sure what that was about, but... You just hate social media in general, not to mention I never use Twitter. Let me try incognito. 
Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. I, I'm not a huge social media person myself, but doing what I'm doing, it kind of requires some social media-ing, you know? Because again, I mean, I am, I'm obviously, I'm just doing this for the fun, right? I'm doing it just to hang out with y'all and because it's, I enjoy doing it and it gives me a chance to play more games and especially on a system that I love. But uh, obviously it would be really cool if I could uh, turn this into a career someday. So I kind of I kind of got to do some social media stuff. And then there's the whole podcast thing that I do, too, with with uh, the Dorseman. They must have changed it. Incognito no work out. <laughs> Yeah, I've been reading a lot about, like, uh, iOS has been changing a lot of stuff for, like, how NSFW works. Like, a lot of websites have had to add, like, uh, iOS versions, so you can't see stuff on there. Or, like, a toggle to turn it on or off or whatever. And, like, I don't, I don't really, I don't know. But yeah, I guess, uh, I guess websites are starting to crack down on that sort of stuff a little bit. I'm just glad they're not, like, completely banning it, right? Like... Forcing people to have an account makes sense because, you know, children can use Twitter and shit like that. But um, I, I I believe in open expression on the Internet, though. So, yeah. Bet your ass you're going to be criticizing me when Odin's fear as I help you with it. I appreciate the help part. <laughs> but no, I mean, if I'm doing something stupid, then obviously, yeah, let me know that, too. Let me know that, too. Speaking of, I'm going to grab it real quick so I can just look at the case a little bit more. Got to get all my cards off the top of it. I left it right on top, though, because I wanted, I knew I was going to want to look at it and uh, get the disc checked tonight to make sure that everything's running smoothly. Lands of Snow, Emerald Forests, and Chasms of Fire beckon you. Play five magnificently hand-rendered characters. Oh, really? It's all, like, hand-drawn? That's, that's awesome. Uh, in the Enchanted Fairy Realm of Arian. Orion? I don't know how to say that. Filled with mythical beasts and gargantuan monsters. A masterwork. A feast for the senses. The kind of visual experience that every gamer dreams possible but rarely plays. Bro, it sounds awesome. Five playable characters, each with their own attack and spells. Nice. Breathtaking art, sprites that almost breathe off the screen, and monsters that span well beyond it. Grand orchestral score by acclaimed composer Hitoshi Sakimoto. That's pretty sick. Ah, oh, that's cool too. It has the original Japanese version on disc. You didn't see that a whole lot back in the uh, PS2 days, you know? I feel like you see that every now, like, now and then with the uh, like modern... Like Final Fantasy XV, for instance, had the choice, and I'm pretty sure a few other ones do. But, uh, like, yeah, that's cool that it has it on the, on the PS2 one game. Of course, Atlas, like, specializes in RPGs, so. You got Wendelin, Cornelius, Velvet, Oswald, and Mercedes. I have no idea who I want to pick. Velvet looking pretty good, though. <laughs> Oswald looks pretty sick, too. Honestly, all of the sprites in, like, the manual here look pretty nice. Japanese voices are available, and, huh, well, I'll be dipped. It's not gross to me. Guess there is hope, then. <laughs> then again, it might be a rare sight. You have to play them in order, you don't get a... Oh, okay, well, that's fine, too. That's fine. I thought it was, like, a... Yeah, like a choose-your-own-adventurer sort of thing. Choose-your-own-character, but that's that's perfectly fine with me. You got different regions on the world map. You got dragons, bro. I just, right now, I'm just really appreciating the art. Like, the art does look really, really cool. You fucking love Oswald. He's emo boy. I mean, my favorite uh, Final Fantasy is Final Fantasy VII. And, like, Cloud is basically just emo boy 24-7. Like, Velvet is super hot, too, yeah. It's the outfit that does it for me, man. On Velvet. At least the one in the manual. I don't know how it is in game, but like. Yeah. <laughs> Same. Jin and Devil Jin. Dragons and great art. Yeah, I'm excited for it, man. I'm really hoping that this disc ends up working out well. 
I got it from eBay or, or somewhere. I don't remember which site exactly I ordered it from, but anytime you order something off the inter internet, you never know for sure what you're going to get, but it looks pretty decent just from looking at it. Um, Like, it's got some scratches and whatnot, don't get me wrong, but none of them look super deep, so I'm hopeful that it'll play. If not, I'll have to go get it resurfaced and see if it will work after that. And then if it still doesn't work, I guess I'll have to get another copy, but uh, crossing my fingers, you know. Hey, thank you for the five bits, love. I appreciate it so much. Really, really, I do. You're manifesting good working disc vibes. I appreciate that. If yours doesn't work, you've got a working copy. I know. I don't want to take it from you, though. I just feel a little bad. Like, I know you said you have the, what was it, upgraded for, like, PS3 version? Have it on PS3 and PS4 anyways? I know, but I just, I don't know. I feel bad about taking stuff from people. Like, Dorsman, he gets stuff for basically free. All of the games that he gets uh, to give to me. And most of them he gets just to give to me, so I don't feel too bad about that. Um, but, like, I don't want to take your stuff. I really appreciate it, though. It's really kind of you. Take stuff from me all the time. I think you're a bit of an exception, love. <laughs> like, yeah. All of my snacks. Uh, speaking of snacks, I need to go get food, man. I am hungry. I am dying of hunger over here, guys. I'll go home and the snacks will be gone. Maybe you shouldn't leave your snacks sitting around for like six days uneaten. That's all I'm saying. Food. Yes, food. I'm going to get some food. I'm hungry. I'm like starving. Not like dying, but I'm I'm, I'm, I'm hungry. My tumbly is a rumbly. I'm sorry I don't inhale them in one day. It's, uh, I mean, like, you know, you don't have to inhale them in like one day. Maybe over like two or three. You'll leave a bag of chips just sitting there for like a week and it'll be my favorite kind of chips. What do you expect? Like, <laughs> they're just going to go stale if no one eats them. I just appreciate them, right? That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> See? Rue knows what's up. I know. I felt cold downstairs, too. I don't feel as cold now up here. But, like, I'll double check our heater. I'm pretty sure it was running, but I'll double check, make sure the heater's working downstairs. But, all right, guys. I really am going to... I got to go. I got to uh, I gotta get some food. But, uh... It was really nice hanging out with y'all tonight, and we'll be back tomorrow night, hopefully with Odin Sphere. And, uh, yeah, it'll be great, man. And Black Beg Time, anyways, night, guys. Night, Rue. I don't like this flip flop you YouTube. <laughs> Rue is impartial. Rue is on everyone's side. Well, Rue's, like, on their own side, right? They're Sweden. They're just... <laughs> All right. Good night. Have a wonderful evening or whatever it is for you, wherever you're at. <laughs> Bye, guys.